help, correct? So what you're saying is just because it's an authority figure and you quote them or, or, or say something about that doesn't necessarily mean that what you're saying is wrong about what the authority has said is wrong or their position is wrong. No, it doesn't mean that they're right. right or wrong just because they're an authority, but it means that they're an authority figure who's saying something. And so, you know, I understand why it, it seems like it would be uh, useful because you can kind of name drop and sort of, you know, grab a little bit of extra authority that you don't have. And so if I sort of, you know, lay claim to, um, well, the executive director thought it was a great idea to eat the bucket full of cookies. Um, all of a sudden, I'm I stick to- by that, man. We all did. We all did. Um, yeah. But I also felt terrible the next Doesn't day. make it true just because I said we should we should get that bucket of cookies instead of just like, I think there was a cone. Like we could have had like significantly like cookies, fewer cookies. Which was, still, which was still kind of an exceptional amount of cookies if you think about it. Yeah. But we ate the bucket. It wasn't just the two of us. There was a third person. Yeah. Okay. He's the instigator of, yeah. of the cookie bucket. So let me give you, let, like, let me, I'm going to give you, um, Another example, let's say um, um, a politician says the crime rate is down. Let's say the mayor says of your town says the crime rate is down, but the statistics, there are statistics that claim otherwise, but they must be false because the the mayor mayor. said the crime rate's down. That's really convenient if you're trying to get reelected as the mayor. Maybe appeals to authority are not necessarily wise thinking. Right? I mean, mean, we can, we can look at Luther back in his day, right? The Pope, the Pope um, would say that certain doctrine is true and they believe that that could be added to the, um, to, to the faith essentially um, because he's infallible because he worked for God. That was, that was a, that was kind of a problem. It still happens too. I I mean, so your pastor will have um, things to tell you, but your pastors, the things that he has to tell you should be rooted in our scriptures and Lutheran confessions, in your catechism. You should be able to say, show me in the Bible or my catechism why I'm supposed to believe this. And if he can't do those things, he, he can tell you what he believes. But I, I don't know that he necessarily stands then as the one who arbitrates truth. Um, so if, if your pastor tells you that uh, the earth is flat, because he's your pastor, you have to believe it. I would say, can you can you show me in the scriptures and our confessions why we have to believe this? And, and if you can't, you, you can believe that the earth is flat if you really want to, but yeah. me, I've been in an airplane and um, no. Okay, well, that makes sense. So let me, let me poke a little bit and say, what about Martin Luther? What if I claim He was wrong something? about stuff. What? He was wrong about stuff. That's because he's a sinner. Um, but Luther himself, okay. don't listen to me, listen to God's word. And if he has a really good way of saying it, I'm going to, to grab hold of that. But just grabbing a Luther quote and throwing it at somebody like it's actually supposed to be a weapon, that's not what that's for. Um, the, the it's Luther not helpful quote, again. It's not, it's helpful. not helpful. It's not good thinking either. Um, they can support an argument, these quotes, but your argument actually has to be in something other than, well, Luther said it. Um, yeah. we, we want our, our arguments inside of the church to be rooted in God's word. That's what's helpful. Hey, we did it. We thought good. We did it. We used the old think melon. Love it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Appreciate you because you're the boss. <laughs> and everything I say, I, I say is right because I'm the boss. That's Wait, does cool. that mean I can't use? Well, don't do this to your parents, kids, because if they say because I said so, oh, that's yeah. actually fourth commandment. It may, it may be a logical fallacy. <laughs> That's a different thing, though. The fourth That's commandment. a different Both thing, though. <laughs> even when somebody's wrong. Um, it's an important thing. We'll do that on another video, though. We will. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>